Hello, everyone, and welcome to Budget Life with Paula. We are here today to do a, actually, it's a retake. My video that was supposed to be posted on yesterday had a hard time with uploading to YouTube, so all of that recording and information that I had, um, I've just got to go over it again, but probably a little bit shorter than yesterday. If you're new here, I want to say hello, welcome to my channel. Um, on my channel, we do all things budgeting. And if you like content like um, budgeting paycheck to paycheck, doing a monthly setup, doing a monthly closeout, we do um, savings challenges here. We do a lot of cash stuffings and I talk about my family and where we are um, on our savings and um journey to purchase a new home so if you like content like that please subscribe to my channel please give me a thumbs up leave me a comment share um, my videos I would greatly appreciate that I do want to say to um, everyone first of all say hello to my returning subscribers thank you for uh, checking in on me today and also while I'm in the thanking mode um, I want to say thank you so much to everyone who has recently joined my channel. I did a post just asking everyone to help me reach 100 subscribers by the end of December. And I am over 100 subscribers at this point. And I really greatly, greatly, greatly appreciate all of the support, all of the help. And some of you um, YouTube budgeters actually shared my post and called on some of your subscribers to go over and subscribe to my channel. So I greatly appreciate all that you all have done for my channel. My goal is to ultimately reach a thousand subscribers and then be monetized. As I stated, I am in the process of saving um, up for purchase of my new home. I am a single mom with three kiddos. So that's one income. So all of the extra income that I receive, it really does help me reach that financial goal in my life and for my family so thank you guys so much for being a part of my journey okay so i've gotten that all out of the way let's go right into what i did uh, on yesterday that you guys did not get a chance to see this is my new budget workbook and um as of right now let me put this here um yeah, so with this new workbook, it is um, a monthly overview. If you're new here, there are some things that you will not see on my budget. Um, basically about three things. That is my tithe giving, my current house obligation. Me and the kiddos live with my sister. Um, we have been blessed to share um, this home with her. And so my sister and I, we put things together, put our money together and make sure the house is ran. So you won't see the typical traditional bills listed on my budget um, at all. And then you will not see my progress in my savings for the down payment um, of the purchase of the new home. However, you will see um, videos that will help contribute to the new house, like my blue house binder um, savings that I am doing. You will see videos with that regarding the new house. Okay, so this is the monthly view for the month of January. I will zoom in so you guys can see it and probably adjust my camera so you all will see. I am at a temporary location. Um, winter break is technically over however I've got a sick kiddo um, who is sick and staying home and, and has not gotten up it's super early so I might have to adjust this guys there we go because I want to let you all see the front part of the paper um, of this page and so I'm starting off with a scripture. I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. That is my encouragement scripture, my motivation, my inspiration for the month of January. January is a fresh start, um, a reset. I am looking at my finances and really setting some goals. And I'm doing setting goals by each month. So um, I've got some goals set for the month of January that I'd like to accomplish. And if I don't, they roll over into February. 
But um, that scripture is very important to me. It sets my mind at ease. It gives me peace. It realigns me spiritually and emotionally and naturally for where I am in my life right now. So just to know that Christ um, is with me and he strengthens me and that I can do all things in him is what makes a difference for me in my life. Um, now with these top financial goals this month, I have to make sure that I have saved up for my tax prep fees. Um, Caleb has a field trip. I need to just remind myself. So that's not really so much a goal, but I wanted to make that um, there so that I can be reminded that he has a field trip coming up and they are, it's a pretty long trip. So they're going to use one of those um, really nice buses and everything's included. So that's 160. Uh, let's see. I want to um, pay off, if not pay, um, if not pay off, pay on my medical bill, and then keep my Capital One monthly um, payment under budget. And my budget is set for three hundred for my Capital One credit card, and then my medical bill is four thirty five. We will see how we go and do with that. Um, I can tell you a little sneak peek. I actually went over. <laughs> I actually went over, I believe, in December, um, December spending. So January is where I'm going to be taking money out um, for that payment from December uh, because the statement haven't, hasn't come out yet. So everything that's in December that I did is due in January. So you'll see that. You'll see that listed. Uh, so this is the month view. All the stickers are there. You guys, we went over that video um, of me setting this up. Um, I will put that in the up here in the screen if you want to take a look at me setting up this, this book. Okay. Now this has already been done, so we are going to go over it as quick as possible. Um, I'm not revealing my income amounts in my monthly view, I'm actually going to just tell you what I am budgeting for the month. And then when the money comes, I will fill in the actual and we will see how we do. So let's just go over this book is new to me and I think I, I'm liking it so far. So the section here is my bills. My phone bill is 362. That's all of our devices and um, I do know that that's pretty high, um, but I am going to take a look at what we can cut back for that. Um, my health insurance, which, which includes the dental, is two sixty two. Truck insurance, I have an SUV, and the insurance is one forty. My peel box um, is due in February. I'm going to go ahead and take it out in January, sixty five dollars. As you can see, I'm already budgeting for eight hundred dollars for Capital One. That is huge. I did some spending. Yes, but I want to go down and pay it all off before um, the statement is scheduled to, uh, actually the bill is, is due. So, um, yeah, it's a big ouch. The total for the bills is $1,629. My variables, which will change from month to month um, due to inflation, all that stuff. So my variable expenses will change from time to time. I'm budgeting for my truck gas for fifty this month. Um, food six hundred, household one hundred. My three stock ups. That is a um, stock up envelope that I have for my pantry, my meat stock up, and my household. So I'm doing some challenges for this, and I am saving out money. Um, so that I can go and bulk shop for and stock up for those things. My tax prep fee is three fifty, and so totaling everything that's fifteen forty five. The next area is my family, all things family. I think, or most of all things family, that's going on this month. Haircut for Caleb, Lauren, Jordan, and Caleb will be getting. I'm budgeting fifteen dollars this month. That might change. Um, these numbers will change as, um, along with my variables. My bills pretty much stay the same. Now, Capital One going into February would not be this high. Not doing it. Not doing it. Um, let's see. I'm giving myself $20. 
this month. I don't think I'm, I want to get my nails done. I think these, this will hold out just fine. Um, Jordan, my baby. No, she is my baby girl because she's the last, the last daughter that I had. Um, I've got two girls and then I've got one son. Jordan will be starting driver's ed, y'all. <laughs> I am. I don't know why I'm freaking out about her. I wasn't really freaking about Lauren. I should have been freaking out about Lauren, but she, Lauren's good as Jordan. Jordan is my baby girl, and she is starting her driver's ed. So y'all just send up a prayer um, <laughs> for us during that time. So I am taking out the registration for that. That's a little, I'm over budgeting in that area, but we'll see. Um, got that taken out this month. Not doing anything for me and the girls. Hair appointment. Um, Caleb's field trip is here. So the total for the family is $325. This section for miscellaneous, I didn't see a need to put anything in the month of January for that. Um, I may fill it in over an actual if anything happens. Okay, so my savings and my seeking funds section. Um, I'm going to fill in savings at the end of the month. So I'm not worried about this. Uh, my savings and seeking funds. I am budgeting fifty dollars in my buffer cushion that stays in the stays in the bank. Um, anything sometimes for the most part, if I use it, it's for if groceries, if food gets to be uh, more than what I've expected. So um, I'm budgeting fifty dollars for that. The kids have an automatics um, draft that comes from my income over into their savings account. Ninety dollars for the three of them. I am thinking, y'all, I know it's one of my goals, but I'm not sure if I'm going to be able to have anything for my medical bills this month. And that is because I didn't realize um, December, holiday month. And so I'm not, I didn't work a lot of days um, during the month. So I may not have enough to put towards my medical bills. If I do, you'll see it in my actual at the end of the month. I am not budgeting anything for many savings challenges either. Um, but if I do have something, I will put it there. My emergency fund, that is a cash envelope only. It is not what's at the bank. I am um, pulling out $100 this month for that because that is one of my goals and that is super important to me. Household binder, I'm budgeting $110. You guys will see that. Um and the upcoming videos, what I talk about and what I do for that. Um, so then, um, Lauren and Future Binder, I'm sorry, I received some text messages from my kids. Um, like I said, they're back at school, so I was pausing to take a look at that. Um, Lauren and the Future Binder will be getting $61. And that binder is set for her college essentials her prom and then I've got a future envelope not quite sure where that money is going to go but I am doing a doing some savings challenges in that binder my shout out your shop um, donations will be getting $16 this month that is for my um, shout out my shout out your shop series is that I do where I'm showcasing um, other small businesses within the budgeting community and then I have some donations that I'm saving for um, in that video. So I'm taking out $16. A total for that category is $427. Now, when you add up all of every, every category for the month, I am budgeting $3,926 for everything this month. And so we will see how the month goes. And what my actual will be, we will fill that in when I get ready to close out um, the month of January. I want to go back and make you aware of some blue stars that you see marked. Um, I did that during the first video that I did. I'm not sure if you guys can see it. I'm going to try to adjust it there and possibly zoom in a little bit more. Mm, that's not helping. There you go. Okay, so here the stars represent seeking funds. Um, and that is my, excuse me, guys, <clears throat> that is my goals for the month of January. And so uh, that's what the stars are, just to remind me, hey, while you're putting, you know, making your budget, while you're doing your budget, don't forget your goals. Don't forget your seeking funds. Don't forget your financial goals that you would like to address each month. And that's how I'm doing my sinking funds and my financial goals um, for 
the year 2024. I am pulling out a few of my goals and I am just tackling them as much as I can each month, a little bit at a time. I don't want to be overwhelmed and stressed out uh, with trying to reach financial goals this year and then really not accomplishing anything. So I want to start off at a slow pace and just accomplish what I can as I go. So you guys, that is everything for this video. I wanted to let you all see my start of the month for the month of January. I do apologize for the shaking of the camera. Like I said, I'm in a temporary place. And once again, I wanna say thank you to all of my new subscribers and everyone that helped me reach my 800 um, subscriber milestone. I do wanna say that I am working on a savings challenge that I want to make available to everyone. Um, let's see, yeah, I should have that in the next couple of days. I will post it in my videos and I will let you know when it's posted in the descriptions below. But I just definitely want to have a free savings challenge. And I have decided to do three mini challenges um, in that document. That's that's something that I really do like to do. I like the three mini savings challenges, um, creating those types of challenges. And so I will have that posted soon in my upcoming videos as a thank you to everyone who have supported me so far. So you guys, go out and have a great, wonderful day or night whenever you're watching this video. And I will talk to you later. Bye-bye.